all those deep, dark fantasies that you have, that you've had over the years, guess what? You're not alone. And all these girls that you see, that you've seen, all these good girls have the same fucking fantasies. But because you denied it for yourself, because you denied fulfilling your own fantasies, you have literally created and set this judgment upon women. You put this standard on them as if they're pure and perfect and they're beautiful, and what, they, 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 and they don't have any fantasies. It's a complete fucking lie. Stop putting your shit onto the women that you desire. When I was younger, I ended up in several situations over the years where the opportunity was there, and I had one threesome, but I literally convinced myself that threesomes were bad, that I didn't like them, just not my thing. I always told myself, like, oh, the... You know, even though I was fucking like a rabbit and I was meeting girls all the time and I still had this thing where it was like, oh, yeah, it's, it's not about, like, what she looks like. It's, it's more about the connection and, and how, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's about the experience that we have and this and that. And it's about two people coming together eh, right there. I want to hold on to that, those words right there. It's two people coming together. It is that belief that stopped me from having many, many threesomes. It stopped me from a, a whole lot. That one belief. And it wasn't until I was open to the possibility of the fact that maybe I could be open to threesomes. Maybe it could be hot. Maybe I could have that super hot, fun, wild connection with two, pe three people. It was funny when I met my girl. You know, she liked girls, and I was like, "All right, cool." And I, I even put that, on, I even put that on, on as uh, one of my requirements. Whatever girl I mean, I want a girl that is into girl, other girls. Anyway, so she, she, I meet my girl. She's into girls. We talk about it. But even at that point, even though I set that as one of my things, I want a girl that don't end up other girls, just in case I do decide to be more open with threesomes in the future. So I'm in a girl. She's open with other girls. And we got talking, you know. We started about a year into our relationship. We started talking more about having threesomes and having a, inviting a girl in. And I say, well, yeah, let's do this. All right, well, fuck. How do you do that? <laughs> It's not like you just go out with your girlfriend and say, hey, baby, you want to come home with us? So we went on and we created an online account. We were matching with all these girls. But it was, nothing ever came out of it. It was just like, it's like, fuck. Girls just don't like threesomes, I guess. It's a hell of a lot harder to have a threesome. Than it is. I mean, what the fuck? This is a whole different world for me. This is a different game. It's really easy to go out and meet a girl for me, but going out and meeting a girl with my girl, I, oh, that's a totally different world. Ah. <laughs> bullshit. The second I realized it was bullshit, I, I reflected on things. I, I said, wait a second. If anybody knows it to be anything to be easy, it's me. <laughs> this is no different. So... Basically, what was happening was, was I had this mentality, this attitude toward having threesomes with girls that basically was coming from a scarce place. It created this reality where it was really fucking difficult to get girls to want to fuck you and your girl. So through the acknowledgement of that I was like wow <laughs> oh that's stupid oh and here's the real kicker guys so I started 
really being honest with what I wanted, and it was really uncomfortable, the thoughts that were coming up and the jealousy, you know, because you've got the jealousy aspect of when you're in a relationship. It's not just like you're going out and you meet two girls that you don't know. You have no emotional ties to these two girls. No, no, you're you're in a relationship. You're in a committed relationship with this, with your girl. So there's jealousy. There's, there's tons and tons of thoughts and ideas that come up that try to tell you that it's wrong, that that's no, not okay, that it's going to fuck your relationship up. But not only that, the same exact thing's happening with your girl. She has her own inner demons. Anyways, long story. I faced my inner demons. I faced all the ideas and the crap beliefs and the scarce mentality. And I was just like, you know what? No big deal. I literally adjusted my mindset around having been with multiple women, having several girls, and I was just like, yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> this is no big fucking deal. I became comfortable with it. And guess what? Guess what happened after that? My entire reality changed. Girls were coming out of the fucking woodwork. Girls that weren't there before were all of a sudden there. All the doors that were shutting on me time and time again that was literally confirming my, the, the mentality that, that I had, the scarce mentality that I had, where all the doors were shutting, now they just started flooding open. Literally, the day... I really embraced being okay, accepting and owning and really being comfortable having threesomes. Literally, the same fucking day, I had a girl that we were ma- I was matched with for quite a while message me on Tinder. Really, a really, really cute brunette, tiny little thing. Message me saying, hey, saying that she wants to hang out with us. Now, in my ideal girl that is not a slut, my ideal girl that I would take home to mom because she's such a nice girl, 100% to the T, spot on, that was the girl that we met up at the beach with that day. We, we ended up meeting, up, meeting this girl at the beach. She's a little brunette, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. Nice tan skin, nice little bubble butt, beautiful face, beautiful eyes, nice little tits. She was literally everything that I had in my head as in my my ideal girl, right? That would never do anything like that. She comes over and, I mean, we fucked for hours. It was awesome. It was hot as hell. (laughs) What is the moral of the story? Know what you want. Be honest with what you want. Be, learn to be okay having, asking for what you want. There's a lot of guys, they, they just, they don't know what they want, but then they start to think about what they want, but then they, 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 they kind of feel bad for asking for that. Well, you know, don't feel bad for asking for what you want. You want this, you want this. You want that, you want that, period. (laughs) You've been justifying for years why you can't have it. Now you need to start justifying why you can and why you can have it. And once you're okay asking for it, then you need to be open to receiving it. And realize that when it comes to you, what you truly want does come to you. It's probably not going to happen the way you think it should happen. Samir was telling me just this week, he messaged me, you know, saying he was, he's like, he had a wild night, blah, blah, blah. He ended up going to the fair with this girl that he was seeing. And then this other girl met him there. They went over to the car. They were hanging out at his car. The girl that he was with, her friend was started sucking on his finger right in front of her. Actually, you know, she goes down and gets on her knees and she's sitting there sucking his dick right in front of the girl that he came to the the, the thing with. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, and that's something that Samir asked for. Well, here's the thing. 
when Samir asked for that, he was really he wasn't really fully comfortable with it. He had to really overcome a lot of inner demons and thoughts and beliefs uh, of you know uh, that he had from his past. So he overcame that. That's fine. Well, he, once he overcame that, he ends up in the situation. <laughs> this girl starts sucking his dick, and then what does he do? He sabotages it. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, bro. He's like, I was so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> he says, bro, I was so uncomfortable. I ended up talking all kinds of shit to the girls. And I was like, oh, yeah, my ex-girlfriend sucks dick better than that. <laughs> and he said the girls ended up leaving. But he's like, oh, my God, it was awesome. It's a perfect example of how it, when it, show, it will show up when you least expect it and in the most what the fuck ways. And you have to be open to it. In that moment, he wasn't really open to it. He was open to asking. He became comfortable with asking for it. He said, that's where, that's where he's at. That's awesome. But when it came down to actually, it actually manifesting, he was like, whoa, like my other girl's there and this and that. It doesn't matter if the other girl's there. It doesn't matter if she's got a girl, if she's there with like another guy. It doesn't fucking matter. You go. When the universe provides you with an opportunity, you fucking take it. And you just go with it. Because when you do, it literally is effortless. You don't have to try. It is what it is. Just fucking enjoy it. You're going to fuck it up. You're going to fuck it up in the getting clear on what it is you want. You're going to fuck it up on during the process of getting, writing out and, and learning to be comfortable with it, asking for it. And then you're going to fuck it up again. When it actually manifests, because you're gonna, you know, you're just not gonna be prepared for it, and that is perfectly okay. The number one thing I can tell you is, just get excited about fucking up, and be ready, because you're gonna do it. It's bound to happen. There's really no way around it. You're never gonna show up fully prepared and ready for any of this shit. So get off your goddamn high horse. Accept the fact that you don't know shit and start going out having fun and start laughing at yourself. Start finding humor in your own fuck-ups. Oh, well, that was stupid. I ain't going to do that again. All right. <laughs> Perfect. That's all you need to do. <laughs> and then you learn from it. Because the next time something completely random happens with Samir and he has that opportunity where two girls want to fuck him. Guess what? He's going to be more open to it. He's going to be more comfortable with it because he's actually had the initial experience now, right? You don't go from being this guy that walks through the world, avoiding dating and having lots and lots of sex to this fucking ladies man just by doing a few affirmations doing a few challenges, you, you have to go out and you need to live. You need to be open to new experiences. You need to allow these experiences to happen because they're not happening to you. They are happening for you. Even the fucked up experiences are happening for you. They are happening by design from you. You put out the intention. You said you wanted this. Stop fucking whining about it. Stop breezing up. Just be open to allowing these experiences to happen. Hey, buddy, I hope you enjoyed that. If you feel you got some value out of that and would like to check out some of my other stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and don't forget to click on that little bell icon on your screen so you can get a notification the next time I post a video. Till next time, enjoy. Enjoy.